Children's charities say this shocking sight happens more often than not. A baby abandoned on the street. It's Tandi's job to rescue them. This baby girl is only a few months old. It's cold, only 8 degrees, and it's late at night. The baby will probably end up in a children's home like this one, where space is limited. This centre gets 12 requests a day to take in abandoned children. A year ago, it used to be one a day. Caregivers blame the economic recession, with parents financially unable to take care of their children. They're sitting with a baby that is um, sick, or, um, or that needs food and they, have, they cannot provide for this child. Um, the families go for def desperate measures and they will either abandon the child or throw the child in a dustbin. It's, it's, it's desperation. Volunteers who offer to look after children for a short period of time also face an uphill struggle as funds dwindle. Some of the children who are saved are in a terrible condition when they arrive. You know what, the time they came to my house, they not look like children, they like like animals. Even when they eat, it, it eat like that, and vomit, and vomit, because the first they eat, even the young one doesn't know about milk, doesn't want nothing to eat, he want just boiled water. <laughs> South Africa is in its worst recession for 17 years. With things not expected to improve soon, the number of children abandoned, abused and neglected is likely to increase. I guess the biggest difficulty of dealing with the increasing number of kids is there's only so many beds we have in own, so many children's homes. Um, so almost every week we've received children that we haven't had space for, um, but we still care for them until we can find another home. In low-income neighbourhoods where baby dumping is common, special arrangements have been made. So this is a typical drop-off centre in Johannesburg, which is literally a hole in a wall. When a young mother feels she can't look after her child anymore, she opens a slap here and places her baby here on the cushion. Now an alarm goes off and it rings in that building there behind me. A caregiver who's on duty 24 hours a day comes out and takes the child to safety. This is much safer than leaving the child out in the streets. And if the mother wants to dump her child, normally it's done uh, in the middle of the night, according to people who work here, she won't be asked any questions. With the country's orphanages battling to cope with the influx, more children could end up joining thousands already on the streets, living off handouts, battling to survive. Haru Matasa, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.